Hello. If you're watching this, it is Christmas Eve, and by that proxy, I see tomorrow is Christmas, so it's going to be the last one on the Evan calendar before Christmas Day, so I thought I would give you my thoughts on on see on the second part of season two of Amphibia. We took the focus on Fucking Little Christmas now that I dropped on Z Plus. Uh, so now I got caught up. I can now officially do this video. So let's get this started. So as it happens, as Anne Boon choice are trying to find a way to get the planets back home as well as stop whatever uh, what Kinos has planned before he can finish them off once and all. I mean, it's clear that there's a lot is going on this season. And I'm liking how there's came a good balance between the planners adjusting life in LA and what's going on back in Amphibia as well. Hell, since particular focus on on how Sasha and and Marcy are trying to adjust in and their friend's absence. I mean, especially since the fallout of. The king getting the calamity box is still in effect, and, and people point this out. Like even though, of course, the intro to Fucking Little Christmas has like the red and green because of, of the season, but at the same time, there's a lot of potential hints about the calamity powers of like the other two, who calamity gems, which we've already seen. He, no matter who's holding them, are basically the powers and infinity stones of how they could be handled, man. And, oh yes, I've seen all, all these memes my feed with he I've definitely taken advantage of the Darth Mercy as well, and I will submit that once he's getting that suit up, it fits alarmingly well with the music when Vader suit up Revenge of the Sith, man. I'll definitely say that, so there's another prequel meme for you, so let's keep this going. So, a Froggy Little Christmas is essentially the mid-season finale where Anne not only has to who show the planters what the Christmas is like in their world and just that in general, how they celebrate, and also oh, give her mother the gift of like the Tycho float, but also deal with Andrus sending a new threat there in a the form of an experimental drone prototype and of course game Andrews would become a meme and even though he totally wrecks a gamepad after his plans are foiled held, held, I have to still have to say that this has to be the most charismatic attic and potentially horrifying Keith David Disney villain role since Dr. Fasili and Prince of the Frog a film I rather enjoy by the way and also, a little bit of subtle details, like the way that the Darth Marcy is playing with that 20-sided die. I won't be getting into too much detail right now, but I will say there's another hint that the real Marcy is still in there. And even the, even like the, like the end credits scene where her Anne gives her like the butterfly she got in the last season, I gotta say, once again, thank you. It's perfect. I am more than happy to welcome um, the Syndrome Editions here that was, and whatever Mr. X Hex is going to be doing next. I mean, Hex, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of, of that as well as his cohort agent Jenny. I mean, even though Jenny hasn't really said anything, I mean, she still says more without any lines and other characters who is doing an entire series, so. I definitely recommend watching this, this, and I'll see you tomorrow with my, my big Christmas present to you all. I've been playing that for almost a year of Pokemon, full of you of Secrets of the Jungle. So have yourself a froggy little Christmas, just like the ones I hope to know. Later. Mm.